perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines always form a 90 degree angle. This is a symbol for 90 degree is the square. So when you see this symbol, that means that's 90 degrees. And the symbol for perpendicular, if you don't want to remember how to spell this long word, you could always use this symbol. This is perpendicular. Line one is perpendicular to line two. Now notice that line one is coming down and line two is going up. That always is the case when you have perpendicular lines. And also remember that you read graphs from left to right. So this one's coming down. This one's going up from left to right. This one has the negative slope. And this line has the positive slope. So perpendicular lines have slopes with a different sign. The slope of a perpendicular, the slopes of perpendicular lines are not only opposite in sign, but are reciprocals of each other. Here's an example. Suppose these were the slopes of line one and these were the slopes of line two. So if the slope of line one was equal to two, then the slope of line two would be negative one half. If the slope of line one was three fifths, the slope of line two would be negative five over three. If the slope of line one was negative two sevenths, the slope of line two would be seven over two. So two things happen. The sign changes, and the numbers are flipped around. So if you have the slope of a line, and you want the slope of the perpendicular line to that one, you flip the number around, find the reciprocal, and switch the sign. Find an equation of the line satisfying the given conditions, going through point 0.6 comma 9 and perpendicular to y equals 3x minus 5. So as soon as you see the word perpendicular, you zero in on the slope. The slope is the one that determines perpendicular. So you identify the slope of the given line, which is a 3. And from there, you flip it around and change the sign. But make sure that the y is by itself first. Once the y is by itself, the number next to the x is the slope. If the y is not by itself, then you need to use algebra to get it by itself. And then once you have the y solved for, the number next to the x would be the slope. Since we have the y all by itself, the slope is 3 for the line that they gave us. So m equals 3. m is the slope. And we need to come up with a line that's perpendicular to the given line. Since we have already know the slope here, all we have to do is flip this number around, find the reciprocal, and change the sign, and then replace it for the m. So this is the line that we're constructing. So now we have the slope of the line we are coming up with. Now use the point they gave you to find the b. So 6 is the x and 9 is the y. Plug them in. Simplify. Solve for the b. And b turns out to be 11. Therefore, the line that's perpendicular to the one that they gave us and going through the point that they gave us is this one. This is the equation of that line.